All right, guys, uh, I'm going to continue with this section here. And this is what I use. You can buy it at Home Depot, any Lowe's, maybe Ace hardware. But Home Depot is the cheapest. Ace is going to be expensive. All right, so now I'm going to try to add more there and blend it in with this section here so what i do so i measure let's say and what you want to do you want to let's say this is what like three and a half inches you want to pour maybe up to five inches or four inches overlap this section on here so then you can blend it and i'll show you Okay. <clears throat> so this one is a little bit looser, but it's all right. And also make sure when you use your uh, mold, you wash it before the next use because the fix it all it dries on it and then it doesn't come out good so you want to make sure you really work this fix it all in so it gets in all little cracks and stuff all right so as you can see I'm like up to here and in this section here you want to go all the way, filling all the way to the edge here. But at the bo bottom and top edges, you don't have to fill it in all the way because when you squeeze it, it will squish out. So, all right, got some left here. I'm gonna put a little bit more. So the important thing when you want to blend them together, this part that overlaps, you want to really work it in, push it down so it gets really very thin edge at the edge where it's those two uh, sections blend together. So you want to really work that part in, so really squeeze it. So make it as thin as possible so it will blend in well. All right, so I'm gonna put it on pause again and we'll come back. Okay, while uh, the mold is drying, I'm gonna show you a little bit what I've done here. I love this bridge, so it's gonna be all the way uh, going across here like that so I'm gonna do all those mold castings here uh, here is gonna be kind of like a meadow stuff so I don't know what I'm gonna do about the background uh, here so this section here I have built this yard here I I think if you have seen the, my previous video I have put in on YouTube so you can watch it. It goes all the way across there. So it looks pretty nice. And on the other side uh, I got this yard here so all right I'm gonna put on pause again all right so it's been almost 
I say four minutes or so. So what you can do, you can check out the section where the this two blend together. So what you need to do is, as I said, keep pushing it down. So it will. So you can work in with your fingers like that. So it gets blended pretty well. And also the top, as I said, gotta keep working. Check it once in a while, see how loose it is right now. It's pretty pretty wet still. So and that's some massaging. Alright. All right, guys. Sometimes, uh, like here, there's a dip, so you have to put your hand in the last maybe a minute or so and keep pushing it because sometimes when you let it go, this bounces back and pulls the uh, the you know the patch with it uh, with the fix it all pulls it off the surface. So you got to put your hand on it and keep pushing it down until it kind of gets hard. So I think it's uh, time to peel it off. And as I said, don't forget to keep working this edge where they blend together. All right, let's pull it off, see what happens. All right, so now you can easily blend them together. You see this little cracks and stuff. You can work with your fingers and kind of try to blend them in. So this one's pretty good, so doesn't need much work. So when you color them, uh, they'll blend really well together. Okay, so that's it. See this section here. Okay, I gotta go wash this. I gotta put you guys on hold. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Uh, I think it's very simple. See all this section here. Uh, I did today this one and this here so it took me total probably I would say about hour and a half so when you get hold of it you'll get fast and you can do it quickly so the only thing is you gotta make your own molds I gotta go wash this too and make sure you wash the molds before you store it away and uh, about painting uh, well, you know the ones that have really deep grooves and stuff I usually do a thin coat of black so make sure it gets in all the uh, cracks and uh, you know like here I don't think I'll do any black but uh, for to show the grooves and stuff I use uh, first coat of thin black and you can get kind of feel of it how much you need after you do a few and then I do the different colors that I want to do afterwards all right guys uh, I hope you I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something and hopefully uh, you can do your own uh, my way so and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, until the next video which will be kind of coloring painting this section here hopefully soon I'll post it on YouTube all right thanks for watching